welcome everyone to our last imagination station. It is day five. Okay, we have had four days before today where you got to do a lot of different science projects. And even if you didn't have the kids at home, you were still able to follow along and understand all of the awesome things that Jesus gives to us. Just like how his power gives us hope, it makes us be bold. We know that Jesus' power lets us live forever. We learned so much this week. And last but not least, okay, we are going to discover that Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. I want you to think about one person in your life who is a really good friend to you. You could have more than one, but I know there's at least one person that you think is a really good friend, okay? I want you to take a second and think about what makes them a good friend. Why are they a good friend to you? So take a minute and think about that. I'm so glad that you talked to someone at home or you just thought about what makes a good friend. Now, before we get into that, I want you to answer one last time. Did you bring your imagination today? I hope the answer to that is yes, because you're gonna need tons of it. Now, I still went to my friend for help today and my friend that I got ideas from today, his name is Lawrence and Lawrence is an elk. He told me something amazing. Did you know that elk are up to 730 pounds? That's probably way more than anybody that lives in your house. 730 pounds is a lot. I asked my friend, Lawrence, how do you get all of that weight? How do you get yourself all the way up the mountain? That must take so much energy. And he told me, that he eats 20 pounds of vegetation a day. Could you imagine eating 20 pounds of salad? That's like more than 20 bowls of salad that he has to eat in, eat in a day. That is a lot. All right, now that I got your imagination sprouting, let's find out today's question. It obviously has to do with our friend Lawrence, who again is an elk. Now, how many toes do you think elk have? On each leg, do they have two toes or do they have four toes? How many toes do you have? I hope it's more than two or four. Let's think. Which one do you think it is? Two legs, four legs? Elk have four toes on each leg. They must be big toes for them to walk up that big of a mountain. Imagine that, super cool. Now, like I said before, it's our last day at our imagination station. I know you're super sad about it, but we are going to make one last project together. Now, our project is called a power band. For your power band, if you have the kit at home, you are going to pull out your little baggie that has beads um, in it. If you don't have the kit at home and you happen to have some string and some beads, you can follow along with us. Now, what you're gonna do is open up your packet, okay? And the first thing you're gonna do is take out your string. Now, I'm gonna spread my string out. This one's like a bouncy string. If you have string at home that's not bouncy, no big deal, okay? So, for our string, I'm going to tie one end of our string. You might have to have someone in your house help you with this. I know I might need someone to help me with this. Um, so, what you're gonna do is just tie a knot in the end of your string. Can anybody think of why we might have to do that? If you said that it's because the beads might fall off the other end, you're right. So I'm gonna make two knots just in case. All right, so if it is taking you longer to make knots than me, you can always pause, but I put a knot right in the end of my string and I'm gonna leave the other one with no knot. Now, I am going to put all of my beads out in front of me. And I have different kinds of beads here. There are three different kinds, okay? Now, let's take a second. I'll let you get all your materials together and then I'll start talking about all the beads that we have. All 
right, friends, now that you have all of your materials in, materials in front of you and you have your string with your knot at the end, you're gonna take the end that does not have a knot and you are going to look at all the beads you have. You have three kinds. So we know part of Rocky Railway, we learned about steam engines. Okay, so steam trains get their power by either wood or coal. So you can use your power beads that look like a piece of wood, and you're going to use your power beads that look like a piece of coal to remind you all about our VBS and Rocky Railway and the different things that power a steam engine. Okay, so we also, steam engines get their power from wood and coal. We get our power from, if you said Jesus, you're right. We get our power from Jesus, so we have you should have two crosses in your packet to remind you that you get your power from Jesus. So you are going to just feed them through. You can think about while you do that how coal and wood, as I string them in, I'm gonna make a pattern. So you could do two coals, two woods, you could do one of each. So make a really cool pattern with your bracelet. So I know that coal and wood help power a steam engine. And I know that Jesus, his power helps me. So I hope that by making these power bands, you remember everything that you learned this week, how Jesus's power gives you hope. It makes you bold. It makes you a good friend. And Jesus's power helps you to live forever. I hope that you enjoyed our imagination stations this week. Have so much fun making your power band. Make sure you tie it up at the end. And just like in day two, when we talked about how we can lift up our friends, but giving them the power by Jesus, by showing them that Jesus is power, you can show them your bracelet. And that was a great way to get to talking about how Jesus's power gives them hope, just like it does for you.